Good morning, Alicia. This is Jessica from Peterson SEO. And thank you so much for speaking with me this morning. I'm super excited to show you this quick video on what you can do to bring in more traffic for free. Um, upon shooting this video, I did notice a few extra things. So I wanted to point those out as well. So um, here we are on your website. And your website is secure, which is perfect. That is exactly what you want. And we're looking through your website. You have a very nice looking website with calls to action, which is perfect. Beautiful pictures. Um, but I do notice there's not a whole lot of content or use in your titles of um, keywords. Um, so here we are at the bottom. It looks like you did have a professional web design. So I'm kind of surprised um, they didn't do more for you. Um, so the rule of thumb is that you want to have approximately 1500 words on your home page and those are words targeting your buyer intent keywords and your buyer intent keywords should be highlighted and bolded and in your um, titles um, what a buyer intent keyword is those are words that customers are actually using when they're searching for your services when they may not know the name of your company. So a buyer intent keyword would be something like Las Vegas pool builders or something similar. Um, so again, the rule of thumb is you need a minimum of 150 words for every keyword that you're trying to target. Now, if we take a look at your top competitor, your top competitor is Blue Haven. And they also have a nice looking site. They have lots of information, but what you can see is that they're targeting their keywords and they have a lot more content. You're going to have to work on those relative buyer intent keywords. I'm going to pop back over to your website real quick because there's a couple things that I did notice. Um, when I go to your other back pages, um, these also do not have content and you're going to need to build content on every single one of your back pages so that they can be indexed and Google can find them and get you onto the first page of Google. And one other thing I noticed is the blog. Um, the blog would be very nice and very helpful on using your keywords. Unfortunately, when your web designer set this up, they have your blog active and showing, but this is just a template. Um, this is not actual information. This is not helping you. So if you're not utilizing the blog, I would at least hide it for now. Um, and then when you're ready to blog, then make it available and blog using your keywords. Um, so the next thing that I wanted to show you is this program called AREFS. We use this tool to show how, um, websites are performing. And as you can see right here, Google has your domain rating at a zero. That's the lowest it can be. And that means that Google does not have any trust in your website. That trust is built by backlinks. And as you can see, you only have eight backlinks and 27 keywords. And as of today, you only are getting 36 people to your website organically per month. Now, if we hop on over to view um, your competitor, Blue Haven 
has a domain rating of a 54, which is really, really good. Um, and that is because of their backlinks. And they have 209 keywords and 491 in organic traffic in your area per month. Uh, in order to be able to be competitive and to beat Blue Haven, you are going to have to get more backlinks than your competitor. And what a backlink is, a backlink is when one website links to your website and draws traffic to your website. And um, for Google, it's like a popularity contest. So the more authoritative, the more relevant those backlinks are to your industry, the higher it's going to rank you, the more power it'll give you to get you onto the first page in Google for all of your relatives' um, keywords. And not all backlinks are created equal. So you do need to make sure they're authoritative within your industry. And you also need to make sure they are do follows. Um, a no follow gives you a backlink and it may give you a couple people to your website, but it does not push the power from high ranking websites to your website to help boost you up in Google. So you definitely need to make sure that you're getting the right type of backlinks. Um, and then when, when we're looking at keywords, here are the keywords that your competitors are using. And, it, and these are um, buyer intent keywords. Um, pool remodeling, pool companies in Las Vegas etc. These are the type of keywords that you need to be focusing on your website and getting your backlinks for. And if you look at the volume of this traffic that they that uh, come every month, there is over 10,000 searches in your area per month for the services you're providing. So you have a huge potential here to get this traffic and convert them into sales. And the last thing I wanted to talk to you about today is when somebody puts in a search term in Google, one of the first things that pop up are going to be paid advertisements. The next thing that comes up is the Google Map Pack or Google My Business. In your goal, should be to be in the top three of Google Maps because 30 to 40% of people look here for the services that you provide and they stop here. So if you're not in the top three, you're leaving money on the table. And in order to get to the top three, it has a lot to do with how your website performs, but it also has to do with citations. And what a citation is, is the name of your business your address, your phone number, and your website. And you need to have those listed in a whole bunch of places like Facebook, Yelp, and Yellow Pages. So if you follow these three steps I've provided you today, you can become number one across Google. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've given you and apply it yourself and that's okay because this is just free education. But I would just ask that you provide feedback on this video and let us know what you thought. But if you do decide you would like help getting this stuff done and don't want to worry about doing it yourself, go ahead and give me a call and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.